Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing something completely different. Um, this is not even content that I'm going to be regularly posting on my channel. The odd time I might show you guys a couple tips and tricks. Something that's going to help you uh, maintain your vehicles. Now I know all my friends and family uh, know this about me. But what I do for a living is I'm actually a certified automotive technician. Now, like I said, it's not content I have any interest at all of doing on a regular basis uh you know even when i was starting this whole youtube thing out i knew i could do lots of content on this and probably do really really well since i've been a mechanic for 15 plus years uh, but again this is something i do from from eight to five every single day and for me my enjoyment is actually going out to the bush and being a mountain man right so but today, um, there's, there's something I want to show you guys. It's going to be a very, very quick video. Um, I'm actually servicing a set of brakes. So I got, I got the caliper bracket out of the vehicle already. And as you can see, the pads are absolutely jammed tight in here. The pins are absolutely seized up. Now, now the reason I honestly want to do a video like this is, you know, uh, I worked in a brake shop for a lot of years. And I, you know, a lot of people think, oh, I can do brakes. It's super, super easy. Yes, changing a set of pads, changing a rotor out, very easy. But to do it properly is not very easy. This is where the, the professional side of it comes in. So right now, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to pr properly service uh, a brake caliper. Um, so we're just going to take all the pads up off. We're going to take the clips out. We're, I'm going to show you guys what to look for. Uh, that way, this is moving nice and freely. All right, so let's get uh, started here. All right, so I'm going to strap you guys to chest cam. Just I think it's going to be uh, a little bit better and easier for me to show you guys um, what I'm doing here. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a wire brush. You're going to need a nice, a really good coarse file, a screwdriver, and uh, some brake lube, uh, preferably a silicone-based brake lube. Uh, one of the best lubes I've actually found was a Raybestos lube. Um, can't find it, seem to find it in the stores here. And I've had this uh, easy slide for a while. So anyways, let's get started. So first thing you're going to do, get those pads right out. And then we're going to just pop these clips right out of here. Now, one of the things that happens and why the pads get end up getting so freaking tight is right in these spots right here, right where the, right where your shims are sitting, there's lots of rust that builds up. Now, I know your caliper setup might look a little bit different, but they're all generally the same. So, um, this is definitely one of the steps that I, I see overlooked all the time. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take your file and you're just going to start getting rid of all that rust. There we go. You see that? How it's nice and shiny? That's what you're looking for. All right, so let's do the other side. And there we go. Got all the rust off of that side as well. Now, what I like to do before I put these uh, shims back in is I will actually put a little bit of lube right here on this metal surface. Now what that's gonna do is gonna help keep the rust from forming underneath that clip. And I always recommend doing this service at least once a year, especially here in, the, in our northern climate, um, especially after winter, because you get a lot of road crap that gets into your wheels and will start rusting everything up. So I also like to take the rust off at the bottom of the, of, uh, the shims. We'll just go ahead, place that shim back in. Make sure it's nicely secured. Um, sometimes you gotta bend some of these tabs back so it fits a lot nicer. So we'll go right here, we'll do the other side. There you go, got all that rust off. Now we're gonna throw this back on here. Now this is where your, where your wire brush is going to come in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go across those shims and we're going to get all that dirt 
off those shims so they're nice and shiny again. As you can see there, look at that, nice and shiny. So, do the other shim right, right here. Oops. You know, sometimes you might even uh, take that file if it's really crusty. There we go. And honestly, this is another thing that gets overlooked is honestly these shims. So now all we're going to do is we're going to take your lubrication and we're going to put some lubrication on all the contact points. You don't need too much. You don't need to go crazy. If you put too much lube, what ends up happening is it actually just promotes dirt from, from sticking. So you just want a nice thin layer just enough to coat it to try to keep the rest from forming all right so so anyways that portion is done now i'm going to show you guys here so remember how tight those pads were before so i'll get the, this in place here just want to show you so there you go so watch this look at that that thing moves nice and freely now. Now that's what you want. You got to remember, I know you might not know, understand how a caliper works, but the only thing that's releasing these pads from your rotors is a little square cut seal within the caliper. So if these aren't as free as they honestly can be, these pads will always stick on a little bit and they will prematurely wear out. You know, servicing your brakes properly <laughs> makes a huge difference. It extends the life from... I've seen brakes wear out 10,000 kilometers because of improper service and I've seen brakes last up to 100,000 with proper service so it's a big difference. So now we're just going to get these pins out, they are pretty stiff, they're not seized, seized right right up, they're pretty darn close but you can see there's barely any lubrication on that whatsoever. So, and then you're going to see usually one of the pins has a little rubber always remember the position of that rubber you want that to go back in that same spot now just take a look if these boots are torn or anything like that you want to get these changed out because that's what's going to get these pins all rusty because moisture is going to get into those boots so now again we take a little bit of lube and again even with the pins you don't have to go crazy if you put too much lube what's going to happen is the pin actually hydro locks in a sense and it actually you won't be able to even get the caliper on because the pin uh, gets pushed back out too much because there's too much lubrication in the base. Now what I like to do with my pin is I like to give it just a little twist when I go in. There we go. So you see that's moving nice and freely now. All right. Put a little bit of lube on here. Same thing little twist and then you'll see it actually gives it a little springy spring where you actually um, twist twist them in there you go that's it that is a properly service uh, brake caliper now the only other thing I would do is I would take this wire brush go to the caliper you clean up the caliper put a tiny bit of lube on all the the the, the contact surfaces other than that that's it now if you're lost to this point, like you have no idea how to even take your brakes apart. Honestly, I'd, I'd probably just not do that job. Uh, it's, like I said, it is simple, but if you mess it up, it is your brakes, all right? Like I said, I'm not doing this, contact all, that, this content all the time, but I will share uh, little things like this because you know what? Th this is such a simple job that gets overlooked how to do it properly, and I see it all the time. Anyways. Thanks for watching. I well, hope you liked it. I mean, like I said, I'm not sharing a lot of this content. I hope this really helps somebody out um, and just, you know, help you at least extend the life of your brakes. Because like I said, I see, I see a lot of hack jobs out there. But anyways, thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Don't worry, next video is not going to be automotive related at all.